Tropica Island of Treasure. There ain't nothing smoother. Previously on Tropica Island of Treasure Seychelles, the contestants raced through the town of Victoria in the Elimination Challenge. Teams made their way to local landmarks and shopped for ingredients for a traditional Seychelles wild dish. But Team Zakia's slender twist meant giving another team 20 kilos of coconuts to carry. We're going to choose Bangs and Anga because they're two strong men. Oh, my word. We ended up with the coconut. Team Carleen surprised everyone by finishing first. The final moments were a tight race between Team Jessica and Team Zakia. But Team Zakia narrowly avoided elimination. While Jessica and Savannah had to hang up their buffs and leave the island. A luxurious island getaway means azure seas, pristine beaches, palm trees, and a really smooth cocktail. This week's Bounty Challenge will see who's chilled and who'll be on the rocks. Can you believe that the original inhabitants of the Seychelles were in fact pirates? They used the archipelago as hideouts to steal from merchant ships traveling to India. Now today our contestants get to recreate the life of a pirate. Of course they have a bounty to secure. Will it be the finale clue bounty? Or will it be the slender twist bounty? And of course, what's a pirate without knowing how to make some rum? Let's go to the island. Stand together, you and me. We can win this million. We're gonna find Go. treasure lives. New week, new yeah. confidence, actually more confidence than yeah. ever because now we are in this game. Last week we had a smashing event. We, we did absolutely amazing even though we had 20 kilograms of coconut on our backs. This week we're looking forward to doing good again. Feeling super great about this week's challenges. You know, you never know what's going to come, but we're both amped, we're focused, and we're ready to do whatever it takes. So we're feeling confident. We're always feeling confident, but we're feeling more confident. And the more confident we get, the more scared they get. So we're arriving at a rum distillery and I'm thinking like, oh, we're going to have to drink the rum. Hey? Arriving here, I thought we're going to have to make rum. <gasps> that was my initial thought. No, I don't want to make rum. Let's and then we have to drink it. The spirit of the Seychelles is famous worldwide and it's made right here at the Takamaka Rum Distillery. Contestants, I've got a little treat for you. Yes. Please welcome Richard Dauphay. Richard is the co-founder of this establishment and he'll be your tour guide. So you guys get to experience how authentic Seychelles War rum is distilled. After that, we go straight into your bounty challenge for this week. Sounds simple enough? Yeah. Have fun. Richard, take it away. Thank you, Minnie. Lovely to have you guys here. Welcome to uh, La Plaine Saint André, the home of Takamaka Rum. The property has been around since 1792, so quite a few years. We haven't been around since 1792. So Takamaka Rum is uh, quite a unique rum for a few reasons. One is uh, our sugarcane is grown uh, organically on the island of Mahe, where we are now. Uh, and secondly, our water that we use is really, really special uh, island spring water, so it couldn't get any purer. We have the cleanest air in the world, that is actually uh, a fact. I'm paying all the attention, I'm remembering dates, I'm remembering facts, I'm like, sugarcane this, the distillery was formed in, in 2002, where is Richard from? I'm remembering absolutely everything in case we need to remember facts for later. So would it, one of you like to try uh, sugarcane crushing? <laughs> okay, I think uh, you're, the, you're the lucky contestant. <laughs> I'm also thinking, sure, why are they showing us how rum is made? What's this got to do with today's challenge? Are we going to be drinking? Are we going to have to be drunk? Are we going to have to taste it? 
what's, what's going to happen? That's what I was thinking. What's going to happen with the challenge where this is concerned? She was singing the song. What's rum got to do? Got, got to do, do with, with it. it. <laughs> what's rum got to do with tropical treasure? <laughs> They may be singing a different tune when the challenge gets started, but for now, it's a hands-on experience. It feels good. Therapeutic. I've, I've never seen sugar cane being put in a machine and juice comes out on the other side. I grew up in KZN, so we had sugar cane. I used to use my teeth to do that process. <laughs> yeah, we always use our teeth when we're growing up. So do you see the fancy machines now? It's like, yeah. oh, okay, well, that's an easier way to do it. <laughs> We've been doing it. <laughs> Welcome uh, to the distillery. Once the fermentation is finished, we then distill that fermentation. What you see coming out of the still now is really the heart of Takamaka rum. It's coming out at an alcohol percentage of around 92%. So I wouldn't recommend uh, diving straight in here and, uh, and drinking it. Not until we obviously have to process it and make sure that uh, it's, it's at bottle strength. From here, obviously, the rum is either bottled or put into oak barrels for, for bottling at a later date, you know, after many, many, many years. I'd love, love it if one of you guys wanted to come and run your hands through the distillation, through the rum. Don't be scared. I'm sure you've got much more <laughs> scary things coming up. I'm putting my hand through the pure rum. I smell it. Next thing, I just want to paint. <laughs> so it's strong, of course, yeah, it's very strong. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour as, as much as I did and uh, wish you all good luck. I hope the best team wins. So maybe later we'll uh, celebrate the, the winner together, okay? Yeah. Contestants, welcome back. I hope that was fun. Yes. Now after all that rum talk, your first challenge today will test your coordination and your balance in a little game of Walk the Plank. Please welcome your Games Master, Jonathan Boyton Lee. Thanks, guys. Okay. So, <laughs> I love these welcomes, they're awesome. <laughs> Back in the day, the pirates used to eliminate their enemies by making them walk the plank. And the first stage of today's challenge is no different, as one team will be eliminated and out of the running for this week's bounty. So each team will be given 16 pieces of bamboo. They're all numbered with little white stripes. One team made at a time, you've got to go over the balance beam and place that bamboo stick into its corresponding number. You don't have to do it in any particular order. You can start at 16, you can start at one. It doesn't matter, that's your strategy. Once the stick has been correctly placed in its number, you hop off, the next contestant goes again. If you fall off, you need to return to the start and try again. Once all 16 bamboo sticks are in their places correctly, you will each be given a piece of sugar cane. One team made at a time, you need to navigate your way across the balance beams right to the end. The way you carry it is like you carry a pail of water, so over both shoulders, arms over like that. If you fall off, you've got to come back and start again. One team made at a time, all the way to the end. When both teammates are through, you're through to the next stage. Last team, you're out of this week's challenge. Contestants, you know what you're playing for? It's the Finale Clue Bounty or the Slender Twist Bounty. You decide which bounty you keep and which bounty you give away. We'll give you a moment to strategize. I want that Slender Twist thing bad. We are keen, we are determined. <laughs> we want this, we want to win this. No, we've won two elimination rounds, but not a not a bounty, bounty round. It. So, it's, so we're definitely looking forward to taking one of those on, maybe. Time to get things started. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go! Get a taste of the smooth life and win big when you buy a Tropica. Follow the entry details on your Tropica bottle and stand a chance to win daily airtime prizes. There's a weekly giveaway of an experience with the Tropica Island of Treasure contestant. Sunglass Hut vouchers, Daniel Klein watches, or LG Home Appliances. You could also win the grand prize of a brand new Kia Sportage. T's and C's on tropica.co.za. There's nothing smoother than winning with Tropica. Ain't nothing Three, two, one, go! 
Timo Reese off to a great start. Tactics are differing here between team members. Our strategy is to take each stick and start right at the end and to work ourselves all the way back. So we don't actually hit any sticks on the way. Team Maurice coming right to the end. Team Colleen already with one end. Team Anger with two in. It looks like it's going to demand a lot of violence. And I'm thinking we heavy guys, we might just struggle a bit. But then the strategy right now is just to take it as it comes, start from the closest, go to the furthest. I don't know if it's going to work for us, but we'll see how it goes. Let's watch the balance, guys. Siv also coming right to the end. And once you've placed the stick, you can jump off and return to the start. Next teammate starts once you've jumped off. We know what we're going to do, but then the power brain came in, Michelle, and she twisted it up because, you know, actually we would have started like one on the front and one at the back. Mm -hmm. But actually, you know, it was, it was, it was going to slow us down a little bit. So we, so she came in and she said, no, let's start from the back. Team Maurice starting from the back. <laughs> so moving quickly there along the balance beam. No one's fallen yet. Okay, we're good, we're balancing, we're not falling off. It's, it's going quite well for us, actually. Going we're doing very it well. quite quickly. We're deciding ah. <laughs> to do one far, one close, one far, one close. Hopefully that'll work in our favour in the end. Like having a long distance girlfriend and then having a close distance girlfriend. Like eventually, Keeping it balanced. eventually, eventually they will meet out. somewhere. <laughs> Another one for Team Siv. Steady does it seems not to be in Team Siv's planning. But at least everyone's focus is at the max. It, it's very hot, sweating. Plus you have to balance on a little piece of wood um, carrying a stick. And we thought that the sticks are going to be short sticks. And then when we came there, we saw it's actually two meters long. And I mean, she's not even two meters long. She's not even, I think, 1.7 meters. So 1.63. 1.63. Oh. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Hunger off. He has to go back and start again. I've got balanced like the British economy. Like, balanced, balanced. But I was watching Anga and them. Anga and them about as balanced as the Rand. <laughs> Fluctuating left and right. No. Mm, we're seeing teams going further. And I'm like, are we on the right track here? Or are we being slow? But then again, I'm thinking, hey, you know what? It's cool. Let's just stick to our strategy. Hopefully, it's going to work for us. One, two, three, four. Team Zakia looking very strong. Hello. Obstacle course is starting to take shape nicely here, guys. You're neck and neck. It's anyone's game. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Next one, next showing us his dancing skills at the same time there. On the mat, on the mat. Hey, man. Zakia looking strong. <laughs> so, go again. Okay. Team Maurice going strong, just three sticks left. Looks like you guys are in the lead. Done. Okay, Team Maurice, you're good. You can start with the sugar cane. One at a time with the sugar cane, guys. If you fall off, start again. Team Maurice, first one's on with the sugar cane. You got this, Michelle. Easy one. Michelle struggling to get around those sticks that they've placed. The obstacle course is a little bit more difficult when you're walking over with some sugar cane on your back. Yeah, check, 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 check. Team Zakir, you good? You can start with the sugar cane. Team Unger, make sure you're both on that mat, guys. Team Unger, you got one warning for your mat. Uh, right now, I'm pumped with adrenaline. I can't even focus. I'm buzzing. I'm thinking those sticks, they need to get all the way to 16. And I'm hearing, warning, warning, Tim White, warning. I'm like, what warning? I need to put these things on. Doing very good, Michelle. Michelle nice looking one. very, very good. Oh, oh, almost. Oh, take your time. Almost, Relax. almost looking very good. Relax those sexy legs. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Team Maurice with a massive lead at the moment. Team Zakia in second place looking very, very strong. Whoop, whoop. There we go, Michelle. Team Serve, you are good to go. Team Sir, make pole. sure you got that on your back, carrying it like water and touching your neck. Never carried water before. I've had a tap all my life, John. There we go, Michelle. That's the last one. There we go. Go, Jonathan. What do I do with this? You're done. Oh, you're good. Okay. 
Go, sir. Sir, almost falling off there. Almost doesn't count. Oh. Team Maurice is off. Back to your mat. <laughs> Team Zakir almost off. Siv making good ground. Well done, Siv. Keep going. <laughs> good. Team Colleen, you're good. You can start with your sugar cane. Team Colleen's beginning. Let's go, Siv. Siv almost there. And we're good. Cubs, you can start. Cubs, it's all yours, girl. Take your time, girl. Zakir looking strong. Two more to go. Okay, careful, careful there, careful there. Careful of your pack, careful of your pack. Then switch around, then go, then go front. Switch front. That's it, Team Zakir, that's good. Okay, no, no, no. Zakir yeah. through. Yeah. Yes, Maurice, yes! Nice, Maurice, Maurice doing yes. strong. Looks like we got a first place here. Nice, Team yes. Maurice, Ooh. first place. Yeah. Team Maurice is the first team to go through to the next stage of our bounty challenge. We have team Zakir looking, looking strong, Cubs looking strong. Team Colleen about girl. to be the that's first one girl. through. Now go front, yes, yes. Lean on that pole. Lean away, lean on that pole. Again, now go across. Cubs calm and composed there, that's looking what, good. That's, that's her strength, she's Vim always almost calm. Through. Vim, one more to go. She's always calm. Team Anga, hustle guys, you got some catching up to do. Team Anga is, is struggling right now. Team Anga is struggling. It's hard to balance with such muscles. As slow as you Salon want. Salon looking good, Cubs want. looking good. Colleen oh looking God, good. Man. As slow as you want. That's my girl. That's my girl. Slow, 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 slow. Smooth move there, Kat. Okay, Team oh, Anger, oh, you're good to go. Oh, yeah. I'm already on the other side, but there are so many people on the balance beams, and I'm watching the line, not shouting. I'm holding my breath and thinking, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. Okay, it's a tight race for second. I see Cubs right in front of me. I'm competitive. I know the aim is not to come last, but I jump straight in front of her and I <laughs> come second. Yes. That's my girl! How incredible! Team Zakia, the second team to go through, and oh Team Sim right like after. Not like a pro tier. The second okay. member of Team Carlene, yeah. which was Carlene herself, yeah. is getting towards the end. I'm still the first uh, member of my cane. team to go with the sugar cane. I'm waiting there, so, I'm like, mm, you know, it's what? done. All I'm, all I'm <laughs> waiting for is a miracle, and the miracle's on granted every no, day. No, no. And Colleen is done, which means, guys, sorry. And, and, and that's how it was, just no miracle this time, you know? No bounty challenge. It's Win okay. Again. It's okay. It's, crazy. it's okay. Yay, Anga. I'm thrilled. We get to go to the second round. And I think as long as we remain this focused, we can clap it all the way to those two bounty bracelets. <laughs> At the Takamaka Rum Distillery, the teams are getting a taste of the pirate life. For the next round, the contestants will take a shot at mixology by creating a delicious tropical cocktail inspired by the island. Contestants, it's time for stage two of your bounty challenge for this week. Team Zach, Team Maurice, Team Colleen, and Team Siv. We come to the second stage and I'm thinking we'll have to drink. I keep thinking we're gonna drink today. It's like, what is this round all about? My first impression is that I don't drink. <laughs> and I'm not going to drink. Not even for half a million rand. <laughs> There's no money in the world that'll ever make me drink a drop of alcohol. Okay, cool, guys. So we're gonna make the perfect cocktail today for stage two. That's the aim of this game. Our resident mixologist, JP, over here is gonna demonstrate how to make a Tropica Seychelles Sunrise. The first three teams to get the cocktail right will proceed. Now JP has to sign off your cocktail when he's happy. Only when he's happy. If he's not happy, you've got to start again. If at any time during the game you aren't happy, you can start again. JP, you ready? Let's get the party started, brother. JP! <laughs> he wants some space, he wants some space. There we go. Yo! All right, so we're gonna start first um, with some ice. And we're gonna add a little bit of caramel. Just a little bit, just to increase the density of the liquid itself. So, you're just gonna add one and a half hours of Tropical Cool Red. Just give it a little stir. So this is your first layer. More ice it. Okay. 
Now for the second layer, we're gonna use pineapple. One shot of that inside the shaker. I'm gonna add one and a half oz of tropical pineapple in a shaker. And give it a brief shake. And we're gonna layer it just on top. Why are we doing a brief shake? Is just to dilute the juice a little bit so that the bottom layer has more density than the middle one. It's the sunrise. Yeah, <laughs> the sunrise. I'm remembering each and every single mill. Even if it's half a tart, one tart, or one and a half tarts, I'm remembering each and every single step. The next layer, we're gonna use blue curacao. Yeah. Just one shot of that as well. And one shot of our plain white rum. Ice to it. Again. Shake a little bit more than you shook the middle layer of the pineapple. Just again to decrease the density of the alcohol itself. And layer it slowly. Now we're just going to garnish with a slice of orange just to keep it tropical <laughs> and a horsey straw. Simple, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, JP. That was Thank incredible. You. That looks Thank beautiful. You. Are you ready? Yeah. Do you want to take your positions? We have to make a cocktail. Never made a cocktail in my life. Never touched a drop of alcohol in my life. <laughs> so I've never ever mixed anything except it's, if it's mixing languages. Okay, contestants, are you ready? On my count, three, two, one, go. JP, first time you did this, did you get it right the first time? Oh, the first time was actually became a little bit messy. Okay. Is uh, while experimenting with the cocktail itself, it's you know, it's trial and errors. Yeah. So it is a tricky task for the contestant. Yes, it is quite a tricky task. Remember to layer the ice right. We have decided what we're going to do. Delan's going to mix and shake, and I'm going to pour with complete calmness and accuracy. Maurice mixing like a pro. We've got it all waxed out, so it's going to get the ice. I'm going to mix the first alcoholic ingredient, and we're going to just take it from there. When one person's doing one thing, the, the other person's just preparing, so shaking or adding ice or uh, pouring the shots into the mixer. We feel like we've got this under control. We have our roles, and um, let's do this. Where's my shaker? You just had it. Serve on the tricky here? bit of the second Let's layer. He's a slow hour shaker, bro. You can't oh. shake. You, you, you can't. <laughs> You're stealing my shake. <laughs> Sabotage going on here between Team Maurice and Team Zakir. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm thinking this precision that's involved in getting those layers correct is would be the only thing. Because yeah. it's easy to mix all the different, you know, the different realm with. The tropic heads. But those layers The layers is where it was. Yeah. Nice, I'm impressed. I man. think the two on this side are actually gonna make it through. Sunrise is going well. There's the top layer that's a tricky one. The final Kaleen layer. Kylene looking really, really good there. It's difficult pouring the layers and the amount of times I, you shake it also makes a difference to how what the density will be when you throw it in. So that was quite like shake it just enough so it makes the right line and looks perfect. Team Colleen looking very good. Team Colleen looking like they're done with the challenge. Uh, Mini, I think Team Colleen's going to be coming your way very soon. Okay, go take it over to Mini and JP to get it inspected and signed off. 
Team Civ, the blue, the blue is spilling a bit there, guys. Hey, you still make a decision real quick. Do they go through? Yeah. Team Colleen are through to the next round. Did they start this thing? Yeah, we got it and we actually winning the round. So it was very cool. It was very surprising to me. Somebody's going to mess up. Colleen and Vim don't bother me at all. We are slowly mixing, slowly and very, very, very accurately pouring. We, in the back of our minds, we know somebody is going to mess up. Yo, guys, if you're not happy, I can tell you now that it looks like uh, nice. Tropica Seychelles jungle. Nice. Is it? So do, you, do, you, do they go through? Okay. JP? There's one layer missing. Take it away. Team Siv, even I can see there's a whole layer missing. Only one team's finished, and so we're still in this. Three teams are going forward to the next round, and we could still be one of those three teams. So let's start again right now. Just remake this thing. Okay, team. Yeah, teams are here. Looking good, Mini. Come, bring, let them bring it over. Guys, bring it over. Don't let them. Don't let the layers mix as you come through. Be careful. That's looking very good. It's looking very good. Now. Okay, it's a flat out race between Team Seven and Team Maurice at the moment. One. Layers are perfect. It's amazing. They're going through. There we go! Team Zach and Team Colleen are through. One spot open, guys. One spot open. Okay, it's a flat out race between Team Siv and Team Maurice at the moment. Woo! Panic mode! Ah, swearing! Bombs here, yeah, gunshots there. The, the ingredients on the table like there was no tomorrow. You guys are neck and neck, both on the red part. Moving on to the second layer. It's becoming chaos because when you're shaking, you can't pour anything into the shaker without pouring what you needed to do before. So you had to try to put the shot in there. Then there's people screaming and shouting that side. Michelle, who's got the vocab of a sailor and the very best of the times, but you're not gonna hear the beep, beep, beep out of it. Contestants, it's not about getting it done the quickest. It's about getting it done the most correct. What might be our, our, our weak point that everybody saw now is that our, we panicked too loud. And everybody noticed that. And that might be a little giveaway to the other teams as well as everyone else around us. Hands are so wet. No, no, it's no, no, it's the blue. Put it in. Shake it. Done, done, done. I'm saying done. Okay. The top layer is, well, it's, it's smudging. It's the trickiest one. It's smudging too much. Like you cannot even tell if it's a layer itself. <laughs> it's just so in, incorporated the Guys, in the cocktail. Guys, start again. Compare, I don't think he's going to be happy with yours, guys. It's yeah. the same. Same problem, guys. I think start again. Start yeah. again. You're going to start, start, start again. Start out and start again, guys. Hey, ice. Ice, ice. ice, ice. We're running out of ice. We're running out of ice. What's here? There is a repeat drink-making session between Siv, Cabonina, and Maurice and Michelle. And Michelle and Maurice are next to us, and they are freaking out, which is what you cannot do with a specific challenge, because you need to be so precise and slow and calm with the pouring. It's, it's quite hectic, and it's, it's intense. <laughs> if you really, and if you think about it, it was one of those challenges where you need to, you need to keep mm. calm, because it's not a lot to memorize, it's yeah. about accuracy. Yeah. See Maurice have a beautiful layer over there. Don't hold it to the side. Don't hold it to the side. Team Siv shaking it up for the final layer. Again, guys, we're neck and neck at the same spot. The hands are shaking. I can see they're putting too much blue in their cocktail. So I'm like, don't put in slow motion. Both on the blue layer. Ready? And Okay, bring it over. Team Civ, carry on. We haven't got an approval yet. I just almost have, I'm not going to keep quiet in this one. The no, last you, time, so, I so didn't boring, shout. And I'm like, done, done, done. Like, we're not keeping quiet anymore. Like, we the have last to time it. we didn't shout, and we didn't make it through to the finals. Not this time around. Okay. Are those three layers? Yeah, that's three. That's yes! 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 Whoa! Thank you. <laughs> well done, guys. Woo! Unfortunately, guys, you didn't make it through for this week's bounty challenge. But Team Colleen, Team Zach, as well as Team Maurice will be going through to the next and final stage of today's bounty challenge. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. With those three teams qualifying to go through to the third and final round, we're definitely backing Team Maurice, eh? I want to back Team Siv. <laughs> but Team, but team Siv is sitting here 
And where are they? Where are they? Getting ready for the next challenge. Let's go to the island. Stand together, you and me. Want to give back to children in need? The new Tropica Island of Treasure theme tune is bringing sunshine into the lives of children. When you download the full song on iTunes or Google Play, proceeds from the sale of the song will go towards a new home for Chalk Childhood Cancer Foundation, who support children with cancer and their families. Get the tune today and help make tomorrow a little brighter for brave boys and girls. In the final stage of the Bounty Challenge, the game shifts from land to sea. So we get to the beach and I'm thinking we're going to have to swim. I don't know if I'm the strongest swimmer, so I'm a bit stressed out. Hey, Jono! I'm about to drift off into sea, but I'm missing something, my friend. Please get me a cocktail. Minit, for you, anything. Let me just brief them. They'll be with you shortly. Okay, contestants, the final stage of the challenge is really quite simple. If you look over there, you'll see Minnie waiting for you on a nice pink flamingo. Your task is to deliver those beautiful cocktails you made earlier into her hand without spilling. Okay, we've made a mark on the cocktails. If you go below that mark, you need to return to shore and fill up. Now, how are you going to get there? Each team has been allocated an inflatable turtle. Okay, at the start of the task, it's a race to see who can blow the turtle up fastest and you head into the water. When I hear it's about running in water, I know my legs are strong. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna nail it. One of you will be chilling out inside the inflatable turtle, making sure that your drink doesn't spill. The straw has to stay in and the orange has to stay in. Once you get into the water, you'll see that there are some orange and yellow boys. You need to make sure that you touch each boy so you go at equal distance at the orange boys and he has another twist you need to swap over so whoever is sitting needs to get into the water and pull the person who was pulling or pushing gets into the raft okay and it's a race whoever gets there first wins the bounty but contestants are you ready okay take your marks well today we're taking this yeah. today we're taking with the first time we fell out in the second round for the bounty challenge the second bounty, uh, bounty challenge we fell out in the second round. And the third time, we're yes. gonna make it. Okay, contestants, are you ready? We'll do our usual countdown. One step closer to the bounty, Caroline and Maurice are our only obstacles in our way to the bounty. Three, two, one, go! There we go, everyone's off to a good start. That's it, guys. Deep breaths in. Don't tie yourselves out. I see the lilas that we have to blow up, and I've been blowing a lot of them for my, for my kids to swim at our house. So I know exactly how to blow them up. So I'm telling them, listen, this is how you do it. You have to bite it, and then you blow it. Nice, Team Colleen starting to get some air in there. Team Maurice finding a nice rhythm. Zakia and Delon struggling a bit. I'm very wary of the start of all the game because there's always a slower downer. A delayer, there's always a delayer and the delayer is blowing up a turtle ladder. Guys, you've got to hustle here, you've got to catch up. You guys are almost there, keep going. Just needs a bit more solid. Team Carlina off, looking good, take your cocktail. Okay, come guys. How can you sit below the rugby? Yes, I'm going to put the Okay, Okay, Team Maurice. Maurice and Kali neck and neck. Um, should I lie down? It's a lot more difficult than I was thinking it's going to be to actually hold the drink so it doesn't spill and I have to find a way to sit so I don't break him in any way. Don't spill, that's my only concern, okay? There's only one thing, not to spill our drink. Don't spill that drink. Because we, 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 we got it, we got we're it. not spilling that drink. We're not going back to fill up a drink. That's not, the only thing. Not, yeah, not happening. Way. We're all pushing her, I kept an eye on Maurice and Michelle. 
And when we got to the second wheel, when we had, when we changed, they were right on our backs. Touch, okay, very glass. I think you have to read what they live, right? He panicked. I could see it in his eyes. He's like, "Where's Maurice? Where's Maurice? Where's Maurice?" Right, right, because he knows I'm coming for it. Bem is getting on the Lila now, and he is a bit heavier than me, yeah, like and I'm like smaller 40, than him. 40 kilograms. Yeah. And I have to run through that sand and water with this guy. Yo, my legs hurt a lot. <laughs> when you're pushing, it's coming out. Okay. And we're blowing, and we're blowing, and our heads are together, and we're blowing. I mean, it must have looked like a very, very romantic movie. They're blowing, and then they look up at each other, and they kiss. That's not what happened. That is not what happened at all. That's fine. Blur. I think we can go. I'm going to get my cocktail. On blow up thingies, you have to bite the valve or squeeze it to let the air go in. And Delon didn't know that. Um, so obviously when it was going in, some of it was going in some of the time and some of it wasn't going in some of the time. Go Delon, squeeze it. You can hear when the air goes in. OK, I'm going to head to boy three quickly. They're making up good ground. We're going to wait for them at boy three. They give them some encouragement. One boy to go after that. Seems the Kia is still struggling to blow up. It looks like they've actually given up. I think they've realized they're not in this game anymore. So I'm going to head out to boy three. Team Colleen's nearly there already. Let me head out there. Nice, guys. Nice. OK, Team Colleen, you guys are doing great. You've got a great lead. Don't forget to touch the boy. Push, 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 don't hold me. Yeah, let me know, let me know, let me know. Okay. It fell out when she gave it to me, because you know what I mean? Okay. And then I said, the lemon, the lemon! And, Boop, and then they touch the ball and we're out flipping, yeah. We're what looking for the flipping lemon, where is it? Our oh, orange. Guys, you gotta find it. If you don't find your orange, you have to take it back, guys. You gotta find that orange. It's an the orange. lemon. Oh, it's an orange. <laughs> Who cares? Orange. I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> okay. Michelle, you got it? You got it? Cool. Carry on. I went backwards and she went to the thing and then I, for me to come back and get her on board and then bounce off with her. <laughs> Time! Team Maurice, you guys are still in it. Keep going. They might spill their drink. Team Zakia, still on the beach. They haven't even left the beach yet. <laughs> Okay, come. Was it close? Yes. Come Does. on, guys. Bring me that beautiful drink. Okay, and Team Colleen nearly there. They've got it. Yay! Go, Bama, go! Yay! I'm feeling so excited, like getting up to Mini first, and we can give her the first cocktail. And I look behind me, and Maurice and Michelle are still like coming along. So I was like, yay! Wedding up the bounty. That's amazing. Congratulations. We came second. Yeah. By to Team Carlin by pure luck. It was pure luck. If we hadn't lost that orange, if it didn't drop out of the glass, we would have had it. I caught up to her yeah. at the second post. Yeah. So it's it was only that little orange that just boom boom. No, that's fine. This thing didn't want to blow up at all. We just tried pulling, pushing, 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 pushing. Well, congratulations, guys, your first bounty challenge. Thanks. Now you guys have the decision to decide which bounty you keep and which bounty you'll give away. So we'll see everyone and you a little bit later on at the bounty ceremony. See you then. Sure. Yo, I'm looking forward to the bounty ceremony tonight because um, I don't think anyone would have given us a bounty. <laughs> really, I just don't think so. So we actually get to have one and also give one away. Come here, Juan. Okay. So this is this is this is John. This is John. We love him very much. His name's actually Juan. He's a little sick. Say hello. Hello, I am John. John, John, don't don't tell me what they can say. Okay. We love John. We love him very much. Juan, Juan. Yes, I heard you. We love him very much. Even though he's not a great swimmer and he actually is a little bit scared of the water. It's okay. It's okay. So um, we didn't really we didn't really manage today, but you know, it's Juan's first time in the water. <laughs> Get a taste of the smooth life and win big when you buy a Tropica.
Follow the entry details on your Tropica bottle and stand a chance to win daily airtime prizes. There's a weekly giveaway of an experience with the Tropica Island of Treasure contestant. Sunglass hut vouchers, Daniel Klein watches, or LG home appliances. You could also win the grand prize of a brand new Kia Sportage. T's and C's on tropica.co.za. There's nothing smoother than winning with Tropica. Colleen and Will got their hands on the bounty. I'm actually quite surprised as who they are going to choose. Yeah. Um, I really don't know. Out of all the teams, they stick to themselves. So this one is going to be very, very surprising. I hope it does. Like that. I hope it does. We've already got one finale clue bounty, so we're ready to have a second make one. Make it easy for ourselves, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we can just make the... The, the next, of... next week's challenge yeah. a little bit easier. Going into next week's elimination challenge, whichever team besides Team Colleen gets the bounty will definitely give us the task of a difficult job next week. We have confidence about that. Team Carleen are very nice people and I, and I feel that they recognise that we're nice people. I have a strong feeling that they'll date back us. They'd be stupid to do that. They would be, but they could. If they did. Because they're nice people. Ah, oh, but nice doesn't pay a million rand, does it? <laughs> Difficult decision that's going to mm. be made. And it's, it's also starting to get later in the game or, or in the competition, so Deciding who to give the, the other one to is... is yeah, and even deciding like what, which one to take. Keep. Which one to keep. For now. yourself. So that's, that's a bit of the issue that we need to sort out before tonight. So Corinne, what are we going to do? I don't know. First of all, I'm so proud of the And now it's just... I don't know what we want to do, because as the Kia has what they have got, the Slender Twist, to ensure that they are actually negative, because they have to give it to someone else. It keeps changing. It keeps changing, that, but that you can also make people like angry at you. <laughs> if you have to, like, if the Slender Twist is not counting for you, we and you have to, to play it very, you know, you very have to tell someone else, OK, we're going to make your game more difficult. So it's so I want us, I want to secure us like a spot in, in the final. Um, and but don't you want a final <laughs> clue about I do, I do. But the thing is, the, the teams are so good now. So it's getting harder and harder. Yeah, harder. it's getting harder and harder. So it's very difficult for now to say, yeah, we're going to definitely win the final. Let's come and get a final clue about it. I'd rather make sure, or try and make sure, that we're going to the finals and maybe take the slender twist. Hopefully it counts in our in our hands for the following elimination. The thing is, we don't, we don't know what it's going to be. Either we're going to have to penalise another team like Sakia and Delon, or we're going to get a clue in the challenge. We can uh, skip a step in the in the challenge. So it's, it's difficult. I don't know what to do. So Colleen, I think after this conversation, uh, we do have a decision to be made and I think we know what we're gonna do. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like this. I'm praying so that we're making the right one. It's tough, but we need to do it. Good evening contestants and welcome to your smooth bounty ceremony. Our winners of this week's challenge was Team Carleen. Make your way onto stage. Now this is how you win a bounty challenge, by giving me an incredible cocktail. <laughs> Carleen and Vim, you have the choice between the finale clue bounty, which gives you a clue in the final challenge to win that one million rand, or the slender twist bounty, which gives you an added advantage in next week's elimination challenge. Which of the two bounties will your team choose? Do you understand? I think we're going to take the slender twist bounty. Interesting. Tell us why. Um, we, we rather want to try and secure um, a place in the final. We don't know for sure that we're going to be there. We have strong 
contestants. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'd rather go for this. Very nice, very smart. Now it's time to decide which team you are going to gift the finale clue bounty to. So the only reason um, we are choosing to give the finale clue bounties um, to this team is because they haven't won anything yet and um, we think they do have the ability to do something great. So Bongs and Anga, we want to give it to you. Bongs and Anga, please come up and collect your bounty. <laughs> Thank you, contestants. Now, are we starting to see some strategies, some alliances? Or is it still too early in the game? Make sure you join us next week for our elimination challenge where we say goodbye to one more team. This is Tropical Island of Treasure Seychelles. I'm Mini Lamini, and always remember to keep it smooth. Ain't nothing smooth. Next time on Tropical Island of Treasure Seychelles. In the Elimination Challenge, teams work those hands and hips as they step into Creole culture. Dancing is my thing. <laughs> While some contestants quickly find their groove in the competition, they might all end up dancing to a different beat as Team Carleen holds the slender twist bounty advantage. That's a massive advantage. Yeah. Who will stay in the game? I'm scared to death. And who will come apart? Congratulations to this week's LG Prize winner. By Tropica, follow the on-pack competition instructions and you too could win smooth prizes. T's and C's apply and can be found on tropica.co.za. Good production. Tropica Island of Treasure. There ain't nothing smoother.